Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up to the creed, man. Bruh, all this snow stuff, I'm tired of all this. But hey, I'm finna put some on you, so cold, man. Um, so glad I'm gonna be back home in LA this week. I'm finna move some more stuff into my place and stuff out there. I'm gonna go out there, big kick it, show my homie around, show him how I get down out there on Fun and Gray. My homie finna slide out there too, so. You already know what it is, man. Uh, what I want to holler at y'all today is um, about selling. You feel me? Because you're always selling something. You're always selling something, or you're always selling yourself. You feel me on some real stuff? And this a uh, topic I actually meant to make a video about a few weeks ago and stuff because I think this is real important. A lot of people don't really understand this, and that's why they stay stuck where they at. Matter of fact, let me take this Bluetooth off because I'm gonna be sounding all weird and stuff. Should sure sound better now though, but um, yeah, what do I mean by you're always selling yourself or you're always selling something? Well, look, just picture when you become friends with somebody, right? They, they most likely have things in common with you or they like things about your character or your personality or whatever because you, you were selling yourself to them, right? You didn't know you were selling yourself to them, but you were selling yourself to them as a friend. You were you were offering up, hey, my friendship. I'm selling my friendship. What's up? And they bought it. Hey, I'm I'm with it. I like you. I I like kicking it with you. You feel me? You're my friend now. They bought into it. So now y'all friends. You sold yourself. Same thing if, if somebody come around and you don't like them. He he always talking crazy and saying some some stupid stuff to you or down there. You down there gotta fight him because he always coming around thinking he the toughest or whatever. He's selling himself, but you're not buying it. The way he's selling himself, you don't you you don't want to purchase that. You like, dude, I don't even like you. Like, I don't even want to be around you. Like, for real though. So the way he coming off, you might not get down with him, but then there might be other people like him that are that are actually buy into that. Oh, okay, because they act just like him. They always talking crap and acting all big and bad. They belong with each other, you feel me? So they might actually buy into it. Now they all kicking it. They got their own little clique, their own little gang going on, you feel me? Another thing, when it come down to women, or even when it come down to man, if if you is a woman, you feel me? When you when you trying to get that girl, you selling yourself, bro. That's what that's what you're doing. Like you're always selling yourself. You're always selling something. That's what people don't understand. And you selling yourself. So she might either buy into. Well, I like the way he walked, the way he talked, the way he dressed. I like his accent. You feel me? You know. All that, you feel me? I like his personality, this and that. She she buying into you. She like it. You feel me? She bought into it. So now she she rocking with you. Now you, you know, you clapping cheeks. You feel me? On phone and grave. Uh, on the opposite end of that spectrum, fam. She not feeling you at all. Like, um, she looking at you from head to toe. Um, she not feeling you at all, bro. Not feeling your swag. None of that. You feel me? On some real stuff. So in that case, she ain't buying to it. You, you you were selling yourself, but you weren't selling yourself good enough for her. On uh, phone and grave, fam. Another thing, when somebody, like when I was saying somebody acting all tough and they talking all that crap, they selling you wolf tickets, you feel me? I'm pretty sure you heard that before. Oh, he's selling wolf tickets. So they seeing if you finna buy into it. Yeah, he yelling, he banking the scene right now. He finna see if you finna get intimidated and back down or if you gonna stand your ground, bro. For real, you can sell all them wolf tickets to me, but I'm not buying on some real stuff, fam. Now, if you buy into it, you're going to believe his act he putting on. You're going to think he tougher than you, this and that. You're going to get away from the situation or uh, flee or whatever the case you're going to do. You feel me? Nah, we ain't buying no wolf tickets around here. So that just goes to show you are you always selling something, bro. When you go get a job, when you go to that interview, you trying to sell yourself to them. You trying to sell yourself to the job. I'm the best candidate for this job. Let me tell you why I'm better than everybody else you interview. Let me tell you why you need to hire me over everybody else you interview. You trying to sell yourself. You try that's why when you go to the interview, you don't just throw on some you know some sweatpants and some you don't just throw on whatever. You you dress nice. You down there put a suit and tie on, folks. Cause you trying to sell yourself when you go to court and you got a case and it's not looking good for you. You throwing a suit, tie on, you trying to look nice, you trying to sell yourself. I'm a good person. I'm a good I'm a good civilian or whatever the case is. You feel me? You trying to look presentable. You trying to clean your image up. You're not just going to go in there looking all raggedy and stuff because then the jury or whoever going to believe you this horrible person they talk, they trying to make you out to be. You feel me? on some real stuff. 
So you always selling yourself, you always selling something, even if you got a job. Do you not know when you go to a job, you are selling your time for money? Yes, that, that your employer is buying you. That's why they're paying you. They're buying you. You're selling your time to them for their money. You're selling yourself. That's what you're doing. And and the, the people that become the most successful in life find ways to sell other things besides themselves. Then not only are they are they selling themselves, but they found ways to extend their their they they found ways to extend themselves, their energy and their value further than their physical body. So I don't have to be there to make the money. I don't have to actually be there working physical labor to get the money. I can I can extend my value far beyond myself, far far past my physical body. You feel me on some real stuff like rappers. They so they selling themselves, but they making copies of this same song, this same album a hundreds and thousands of times over and they selling it to you. You feel me? I'm going to sell you a copy of the song. I'm going to sell you a copy of the song. You know, go check it out. It's on iTunes. Go buy it. Go get, go get my new album that just dropped. You feel me? So now they're selling things. You feel me? Which is why the most successful people, they have, they have found a product or a service to sell. You feel me? So these rappers, they're selling their music. That's a product. These actors, they're selling their movies. They're selling their acting skills. You feel me? A service. You feel me? If I own my own plumbing company. I don't even got to be there because I own a company. Now I'm hiring employees. I'm sending them to go fix the pipes. I'm sending them to go fix the toilets. I'm sitting in the office taking the calls. You feel me? Hey, uh, what? All right, we got a job over here. All right, cool. Hey, yo, 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 I need you over here on uh, Front Street, 5 o'clock. We got we to gotta bust the pipes. You feel me? I'm sending people to go do the jobs. But I, I sold myself. By that point, I didn't sold myself so much that I worked myself to that spot. You feel me on some real stuff. I, I used to be an employee. I used to be the plumber. You feel me? I used to be the one going to fix the pipes. I worked myself up. I worked my way up. You feel me? Then I started my own stuff. And then other other people, other companies, or, uh, customers or clients, they heard about my business. So I sold my business so well. I presented my business so well that they're like, oh, that's so-and-so plumbing company. I heard of them. That's a heard they're a good company. Let's go. Ahead. Come on. We finna roll with them. Because I presented myself. I built myself up to that spot to, to where now I'm, I'm selling myself effortlessly. I don't got to advertise nothing. Now I'm just, I'm established, you feel me, on some real stuff. So you always selling yourself. And the people that, that get the farthest in life, that become the most successful, they become masters at selling. For real, though, you need to come up with a product, a service, a brand, and sell that. All these people on YouTube making money on YouTube, they're selling themselves. When we hopping on here making these videos, giving up our time, giving up our energy, we selling ourselves, bro. You always selling yourself, so you need to learn how to sell yourself the best way possible, fam. You need to learn. You need to come up with a product to sell. You need to come up with a service to sell, bro. That's how you get out of a job. Hey, a few hundred a day keep the real job away, bro. On some real stuff, that's all you got to do is make a few hundred a day, bro. And you good. You ain't never got to clock in nowhere else ever again, bro. That's all you got to do, fam. And how can you do that? By selling yourself, bro. Find some way to sell yourself. Find some way to extend yourself farther than your physical body, bro. And you got it. You got it. You're going to be in the dough. And then shit, hit me up because I'm trying to get in too. What you mean? I'm phone them. I need my cut because, I, hey, I'm the one that just got you on that. If I would never had this talk with you today, you probably would never did that. I need my cut, folks. I'm phone them. And if I don't get my cut, I'm pulling up on me. And these ain't no wolf tickets. I ain't selling. I'm selling real threats right now, bro. <laughs> this is not wolf tickets. <laughs> I'm selling real threats right now. You don't hit that like button. If I don't get my cut, drop a comment, nigga. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. These are not wolf tickets. I'm out.